Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, yet again to my Final Fantasy Tactics Ramza only run. This is episode 14. Um, in the last episode, we cleared the crucible of Ryovane's castle. Um, had a little more difficulty with the first battle than I was really anticipating. Second battle was a breeze because we had a good strategy. Uh, the third battle had good luck on our second try, so nothing nothing too difficult. Um, so yeah, we are heading straight into chapter four, um, where we last saw our hero. His sister had been abducted yet again by uh, the Templar Knights, yet again. Um, this time Vormav. Uh, abducted her after seeing a resonance with one of the holy stones. He was quite thrilled with her uh, apparent resonance. We're going to see why that might be the case here after a while. Uh, so we are pursuing them on to Zeltinia Castle, where we might run into an old friend as well. Uh, but first, we got to make it through a few battles. We'll see how far this episode's going to go. Uh, as I've previously stated, I'm not intentionally going to be grinding. Uh, I did see uh, quite a few level gains in the middle battle against Wygraf because of the strategy I used um, using the Guts skill of Yell and Accumulate for the Squire. He uh, kind of <laughs> gained a lot of levels. Probably gained about six or seven levels in that battle alone. Um, but other than that kind of thing, I'm not going to be intentionally grinding because it's really not that entertaining. I'd rather try to beat the game as low a level as I possibly can. Um, grinding, uh, if, if I really wanted to, I could grind to 99. And if I really, really wanted to, I could level down as a bard to level 1 and then re-grind as a ninja for massive speed gain, massive power gain, massive HP gain. Um, just doing that once, I would be doing minimum 600 damage a hit, and if I did that twice, I could I could do damage easily, um, e easily be doing 999 damage every every hit, and that's really not fun to watch. Um, hopefully, if you've been here for this long through this series, you've enjoyed the the challenge, you've enjoyed um, the struggle. <laughs> the game over screens because there have been quite a few uh, but right now I think I'm going to reset the battle skill because he's got the power break um, although really at this stage most normal enemies I can I can kill in a one shot with a double punch um, so the battle skill like I'd rather kill them than break their power it's not always going to be a very good strategic option to break their power, but really there's no other secondary job class other than the Guts skill, which I only, I, I really don't want to rely on. Like, if I, if I end up doing that every battle, that's going to be super boring, easily as boring or worse than just grinding and, and plowing through everyone. So I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with the gut, uh, with the battle skill. I'm going to stick with my monk primary skill and we're just gonna we're just gonna roll, roll with it see how it goes uh, as usual we are not save scumming but I am gonna go ahead that was weird uh, the screen just canceled I didn't think I hit the button to cancel but then again I have been playing my ps4 lately and the buttons are reverse like X is confirm and circle is cancel, so maybe I, I just got my um, my fingers mixed up. Okay, uh, as I'm saying, we're not we're not save save scumming, but if I happen to bypass a random encounter, I'm gonna save every opportunity. If I get a random encounter such as this, I'm not gonna reload instantly. I'm gonna actually fight through it, and we're we're not save scumming. We're just gonna fight through, and see what happens for us. It's been a long time since I've had a battle in Grog Hill. From this angle, I'm at the top of the hill to the right. Um, so I want to be here to be as close to the enemies as I can. It's been a real long time since I had a random battle in Grog Hill. 
uh, usually my normal playthroughs, what, what I usually do, honestly, is I'll level to level 99, I'll master every job class, I'll power level by doing the bard level down trick once or twice, and then I'll get bored and I'll stop playing. And I usually do that all within chapter one. So in my normal playthroughs, it's been a long time since I've been all the way to chapter four. Uh, it's a whole new experience for me. Okay, doing 40 damage, that's certainly survivable. Uh, that black chocobo, I don't want to underestimate though. A little bit risky taking the shot without moving, but I wanted to get a chance to wait so that my turn comes around sooner. Not too bad, 96. As long as I can stay out of the panther's range, which I might not be able to. I might hit and run the panther. Let's see what I can do, because they're weak to earth. Yeah, I'm gonna hit and run the panther, go hide in the corner, heal up before I take on the black chocobo. Because I don't want to risk a critical hit from the chocobo. He could probably take me out if he got a critical. If you don't get a critical, he'll just heal me. I've got my HP critical um, reaction ability on, which, in retrospect, I really should have just ground out the auto potion because as many times... Oh, man, he's got... I forgot they got movement of six. Well, it's lucky he wasn't critical because that could have been... Uh, if that was a critical hit, he could have finished me. As I was saying, the auto potion would have been better for me on the whole, um, just all throughout, but... We're this deep into it. I don't want to grind half a level on a chemist just to, because what will end up happening is I'll get into a battle and just because I have to win the battle to grind, I'll end up getting three or four levels as a chemist and chemists have just trash uh, um, stat gains and I don't want to grind on trash. So we're going to stick with the HP critical. It's okay. And in a lot of situations, it has bailed me out tremendously. So I'm probably just being overly critical of it. But on the whole, on the whole, it would have been better if you're, if you're planning your own Ramza only kind of run. Um, yeah, auto potion is the way to go. In a normal run, when you got backup, you got a party of five, uh, I always I always stick with the HP critical because it kind of emboldens me to just press on and press and press and press. And if I happen to fall, it's only one guy who falls. The rest can pick him up, and it's not a big deal. Um, but it, it really favors my particular play style of just pressing, 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 pressing the advantage and not having to stock up all the time. Um, all right, we've got Dogola Pass coming up. Yeah, we're getting into the, the part of the story where I, like in the first two chapters, I remember explicitly everyone, if really the first three chapters, I remember everyone, where all the enemies are roughly. I know, you know, not, not exactly. If I had a diagram of the map, I couldn't pinpoint exactly where everyone is, but I know just generally, you know, you got three Lancers here, you got a Chemist here, you got two Time Mages here. I, I know the maps a lot more more thoroughly than I do here. I'm pretty sure this one's got a couple of Lancers. And I honestly don't remember what else they've got on this one. I do remember the Lancers are pains in the butt. There might actually be three. Uh, they are tough because they've got good evasion, good health, and they're, they equip shields, which boosts their evasion even more and the shields that are available for purchase at this stage in the game are pretty quality uh, and then they've also got lances they can attack you from multiple distance they can jump uh, which was the downfall of one of my uh, play one of my runs in the library I got over 
confident, and there was a Lancer with one HP left, and he just bamboozled me. Because I was hiding, and he couldn't touch me. He couldn't even get me with his spear because I was so far away, and he's just like, no, nope, I'm going to jump on you. And this, the stupid thing is, I would have healed if I thought he could have killed me, but his damage output was less than what I had, but only with his with his spear with the jump they get a, a little attack boost and i was not counting on that anyway mm. as long as we're here you cannot pass all right well that's all okay uh you shall not pass okay yeah i remember now mostly because i'm seeing it on the screen we, we've got a couple of wizards they will fall easy though because they have very low health thresholds just making sure no one's got any earth clothes that's what i was looking for i don't want to use an earth slash on that uh, archer it'll be a waste of a turn and it would potentially heal him uh, uh, surge has items nigel has items no second ability And he could steal. I don't want him to steal anything because I don't want to lose my equipment. Okay. Probably not strong enough to finish him in one, but I think the good strategy is to take him out from a distance. Oh my god. How sloppy am I? I should have gone here. I really wasn't even thinking. Well, that's a waste of a turn right there. You, as you can tell, I'm quite rusty. Um, <laughs> if you've been watching as I've been uploading, which very few people have, uh, mostly it's just me. <laughs> but um, for posterity's sake, I've been recording. Uh, I recorded the first 13 episodes probably in the span of like five or six days. And I've been uploading. I uploaded like six or seven right away. And then a couple of weeks since then and so it's been it's been probably about three weeks since i last recorded an episode so i'm a little bit a little bit rusty but the good news is i don't know okay oh uh, good news is the lancer could get me if i got too close he could hit me there I uh, should have saved it, uh, but I can I can hit him from the front. We're gonna be fine. But I really should have saved it. Uh, I'm so rusty. Ah oh, man, those guys are strong. on the critical restore this is not my kind of game well, the only move is to heal and run and hope to outpace enough people he's only got a move of three I don't know if that height difference, if his lance will work. So I'm going to hide in the corner. Because I don't think the knight can get me there either. So worst case, uh, the wizard and the lance will get me and I die. Hopefully that's not going to happen. Hey, an Edgar just blocked him. So that's good. Um, they might get a two to one turn, though. Okay, good. My speed was good enough. So. Oh, man. Such a sloppy, sloppy start. Now I 
can afford to go kill the wizard. The arch will, will get a hit on me. Depending on where these dragoons move, the lancers, uh, nope. The other one could probably get a hit on me, except... Um, except I'm gonna go here. Episode, my the archers were having less accuracy than their weapons should have. Like, I only have 20% evasion, and that guy hit me for 80% accuracy. I just I wonder what the difference was. He's got a mithril bow. I don't I don't know. I don't think there should be any reason why those other people weren't hitting me so effectively, but they weren't. Archers got free reign of the entire map. It's ridiculous. And it's got bad affinity, neutral, neutral, neutral. Got 170. I can survive one hit from a Lancer, but if I kill him, I can't benefit from the body barrier like I normally do, because the Lancer will stand here and then sh stab me across his body. Um, what I'd like to do is go right here and kill him and only have to deal with this Lancer, but I'd have to deal with both. So. that the wall is high enough that the archer can't get me but that kind of bit me in the backside last time uh, the archers were able to hit me even when I was right next to the castle wall yeah but I'm getting pretty lucky with some evasions so that's good uh, this will give me a chance to at least get some kind of an attack off it's a side attack he's got 37 evasion on the side 63% shot uh, which means I'm not going to kill him which means I'm going to take a 120 shot um, probably an 80 shot from him that's 200 and the archer would finish me so we're not going to do that instead we're just going to lay down the groundwork that the archer can't get me from here. in the corner, let them line up, and hit them in a row. Except they're not going to line up for me. Well, I guess they kind of do. I wanted them to line up on the bottom row, so I would be able to just hit and stay. 
Jazz isn't having a moves. Yeah, the archer might be able to hit me after this. Oh man, I really need to do my counting because that's a three to, uh, to a half, and it's only got a plus two range. Well, in that case, I may as do it. Well, do a wave, wave fist. on those evasions. It's got 104. One wave fist would still take him out, but the nurse slash won't. And I'm going to hit him with a nurse slash. Probably. I'll have... Actually, we've got no back evasion, so I'm gonna take this guy out while I can. Six more than I thought. He's got bad affinity. I thought it would be lower. Uh, yeah, let's gamble. Dang it! I wanted to take advantage of the hit and run. And now I just look a fool. Yeah, he's only got move three. His CT is low, which means he cannot get a very good charge on me. Which means his last charge, I think it was a charge three, or it was a low charge, only did 56. I just, I just want this battle to be done, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to check my heights. And I believe this has a plus three, it does. So I can't actually wave fist him except from here. And that's too risky because he's got the side evasion, so never mind, scrap, scrap all that. We're going to play it safe instead. Hey, double turn because the CT was low. What's my speed like? So he's level 31, speed 7. I got speed 9. Nice. I'm so used to from chapter two and three being only like six or eight levels ahead, uh, ahead of all all the enemies. It's nice having a having a 12, 13 level cushion. A little risky. Oh my god. Ah. That <laughs> happened to me before. That is... Mm. That is galling. Uh, well, it's a very, very, very sloppy, sloppy restart to the series for me. Uh, gotta work out some of those kinks. Hmm. Alright, I'm in Yardo 
the fruit city I might actually check see if there's any better equipment my power sleeve is good because it's got plus two attack it, unless I get a really substantial boost to my health I'm, I'm gonna stick with the power sleeve see I get earth clothes but I lose two attack for only 15 HP gain um, I'm not gonna do that in fact I'm gonna stock up on a couple power sleeves because people might be uh, stealing it or breaking it and I don't want to have to deal with that and check and see if there's any new accessories there were none new hey we got past Grog Hill at least so at least I don't have to repeat that mindless battle Speaking of being mindless, I, I need to be much more focused. I'm going to start up top because the Lancer can get up me up there. The Wizard can get me up there. But if I can take out the Wizard in one shot, the, the Wizard on top, that's what I want to do. Uh, the Archer is going to have Earth Clothes. He always will to not use earth slash on in as long as we're here you can't pass that is that is how it works it's like they don't even give a reason they're, they're just yeah we're gonna fight you Neutral affinity, neutral affinity, bad affinity, which is good to my favor. Bad affinity, that's good to me. Uh, neutral on a Virgo, and good affinity for Tuck. Thank you, Tuck. Which, if I'm not mistaken, Tuck is Danish for thank you. I don't 100% know that to be true, but there was a Danish. Um, not exactly comedy, comma, comedy drama about a teacher in Denmark that I liked, and they said talk. It's one of the one of the phrases I could recognize consistently. It's only a throw stone. If he was going to use Hell Ivy on me, the Geomancer ability, I was going to, I was going to become apoplectic with rage, because Hell Ivy can give me the stop status effect, and that has stopped my run at least once. Uh, depending on what they cast on me, the mage and the archer could take me out. Not anymore. Bolt three. Damn. Yeah, if the archer hit, that would have killed me. 20% chance saved my run. Okay, well, the worst they can do is what they just did, which demonstrably doesn't kill me. Uh, he's got plenty of MP. I can take this guy out, and that will that will pretty much see me to the end of the next couple of characters. between the two of them. Uh, so here's the thing. I don't want to heal because it'll take me to critical and I can get my reaction ability. If I go here, I'm safe, so I'm just gonna, just gonna chill.
Oh no, it won't even give me my reaction ability. Uh, oh, the difference was the 10 hit from the stone throw. Well, shoot. Well, I definitely need to use chakra then. Check the movement. I don't want him up here at all. So I'm gonna go here. can't do a level 3 spell. He can do a level 2 spell, which would probably do about 70, give or take. Definitely don't want to risk it. Uh, he's got a movement of 3, so he's going to get up here. But I really need to take out this knight while I can. Depending on what it is, I might. Well, I'd really like to absorb the ability, but I don't even know if it's going to have an ability. And it would be really risky to have to use Chakra. That would be, I'd be a 95 and 74, uh, 169, which would probably be enough. Yeah, let's see what abilities I can absorb. Only Bolt 2. Ah, uh, not really worth it. Seeing as how I'm never going to use the Wizards ever. That's what we like to see. So that would be a level 2 spell. Nice 2. Costs 12 MP. He's got 8 MP left. He can only afford a fire spell. So, I would say this is well and truly over. Let me go ahead and absorb all their spirits, because why not? Experience. The most useless steel ability. It would be one thing if you could steal more than, like, more than what the person has. Like, if a person only has two experience points, you can only steal two. If they have none, then it's worthless. You can't even steal anything. So it's kind of a useless ability. Charge 10. Wow. Big charge.
should have been this easy the first time. I was so sloppy. Uh, just blown off the cobwebs. Like I said, it's been about two, almost three weeks since I actually cleared Ravens Castle. Um, in terms of the recording sequence, this will go up in the same cycle as everything else. It'll, to, to all intents and purposes, it'll only seem like a few days. Um, pretty sure the Ravens one is going up on a Friday. This will go up on the following Wednesday, but I am uh, a little bit out of practice, a little bit sluggish. Uh, a lot of stuff going on. Uh, just generally in my world in the last several weeks um, got a new apartment moving all kinds of all kinds of good stuff so settled it settled into the new place that I would blew off the cobwebs and record an episode uh, and here it is so, I definitely want to save Is coming up. Speaking of people breaking your armor, this is the one. Meliadule. Uh, strong character, good character. I, I really liked Islud, and it's a shame. Like he he dies so valiantly. Like he's he's a fool, and he's blinded by the church. But when he's awakened to their to to their lies and to the evil that is his his once father, uh, who becomes a, the demon, uh, Hashmal, he, 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 he dies valiantly, he dies for justice, he, die, he dies for the truth, and I, I have a lot of mad respect for him. Uh, this battle, I think, it doesn't matter where I start him, but I'll start him there just in case. Um, but yeah, he, he's, he's a good character. I, just all the villains, all the villains in this game are so well developed. Um, they get a lot of screen time, they get a lot of motivation and development, and their motivations change. And Wygraf and Islud in particular, real good characters. Um, I'm Meliadzul. I came to avenge my brother. Avenge your brother? What are you talking about? You're denying it? Islud, whom you killed at Ryovanes, was my brother. I'm going to kill you, not for the High Priest, but for my brother. Alright. I hate summoners, I hate ninjas, I hate archers. But all I gotta do is bum rush them, take out my Leadjul. Uh Actually, I'm not gonna bum rush them, I'm gonna wait for her to come to me, I think. Because that is the only safe thing to do. Man, if I had just one better movement, I could just get right next to her and double tap her. But she's going to have a shield. Enchantage, which offers... Does it offer evasion? No, it doesn't. It's just her shield. 37% side evasion. Plus her frontal evasion. Plus the defender which has 60% evasion. Uh, yeah. Definitely need to get a hit in the back. So what I'm going to do is where is she likely to go? And she, I think her sword skills have got a range of three. So if I go there, I should be safe. She'll follow. And then I can hit her in the back. Except she's not going to show her back to me. This is going to be really tough. And that Leo summoner has an affinity with me. I don't want her to break my stuff. Summoners are still only doing, only doing first tier, remove, Titan, Shiva, those kinds of spells, but they still hit for a boatload. Good grief.
I mean, if I do a side attack, I'm not going to hit her. Because... I can't remember how the defender works. Does that... Def does that evasion only... Because on her, on her character screen, it's only got 37% side evasion, central evasion 12%. I think the 60% might only factor in if she's got weapon guard. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong. And in a normal playthrough, I strip her of all her, her good loot. I take her perfume. I take her defender. Take all that good stuff. But... Okay, so what I'm thinking is I'm going to die. I could take out this summoner, but then she'll get a hit on me. Two archers are going to hit on me. Summoner's going to get a hit on me. And I'm dead. I could... No, I can't even take out the other summoner. So... What is the play? I think the play... Run like hell. Uh, I'll get an opening eventually, and until I do, I can just pick off her her minions without getting hit by the goddamn summoners. The archers are going to continue to pepper me with arrows, but their attacks are low, and I'll occasionally dodge them. Nice. The odds of dodging two in a row are 0.2 times 0.2, which is 0 0.04, 4% chance of dodging two in a row. I'm not a fan of that ninja, though. My CT might be good enough that I can move before, what's her name? Hala? No. It would be if I waited, though. Let me do an Earth Slash and wait. Except she's got a goddamn Earth Clothes on. That is why you always check the values before you confirm the attack. That's Malia Joel's movement. Okay, I guess I, I definitely. Well, actually, I don't think I don't think her skills have a height. I, can't, I, uh, I cannot remember if her sword skills have a plus minus height value. Lightning stab is the one that has good range and height. She does not know that because it's not in her skill set. Six to two. I'm, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go with it because I need to get some traction. Oh, what's her movement? She's only got movement of four. But she's got a movement of three. Take out the ninja. Probably foolish. Probably foolish. Uh, we'll see. It was foolish. 96 plus break in my armor. be able to run and heal before this hits me though. Was it worth it taking out the ninja? Probably not. But I'm still alive. Oh, my power is down by two though because my armor is gone. So I heal for less, I attack for less. That's kind of really annoying. And if the other archer hits me, I'm dead. In fact, I didn't do the math quick enough. I don't know. I might be dead already. Probably dead already. Damn. 
Okay, new strategy. I can't earth slash the ninja. Uh, God, what is the strategy? Uh, I could run and yell. That's always a safe fallback, but I don't want to do that because it's super boring and it also superficially inflates my level and I don't want to do that. It's essentially like grinding. I don't want to grind. I'm al I already feel a little bit over leveled right now because um, I've got two speed better than most enemies and that's too much. Uh, it's, a, it's a nice advantage, but... Um, when I actually do the strategy right, when I when I play the battles right, it tends to make it too easy. So the question is, what is the right way to play this one? I think the right way to play this one is to run, um, try to get everyone on one side, run to the opposite side, climb the hill, kill the archers, keep running take pot shots at the archers yeah I do want to start on this side because maybe I can actually take out the ninja hand to hand before anyone gets to me take out the archers take the summoners out long distance or slash hopefully they'll only take two hits with the earth slash to get them um, but with Meliagel having regen on automatically I'm basically going to have to get a back uh, shot in the back on her. Uh, I can't really rely on her slashing over and over and over because that'll take forever. But for as long as I possibly can, I want to keep my armor intact because that extra two attack power is pretty valuable. I really wish I could earth slash that ninja because it would only take two to finish her. I would go here, but the ninja would go here and throw a ball at me. Actually, she might actually just come and hit me. No, she wouldn't. Okay. So actually, that is where I need to go. Uh, unless I go here. I'd rather go here, because then the ninja will go like here, probably here, and throw a fireball at me, and then I can hit her from this side and be as far to the wall as possible, which is what I want to be. If I went here, she would throw the ball at me from here, or possibly here, and then I'd have to hit her from here. And that's way too close to everyone for my liking. So that is why I'm going here. seeing it all play out if I had it to do again I would have moved close enough for the ninja to get a hit on me because then I could just hit and run which is what I would rather do because uh, if I go and hit her on the side Are you freaking kidding me she throws a mirror massa that is much more powerful than what you just threw at me last time oh my god so dispirited right now. Okay, we got most of them coming down to chase me, which means I will have a free run at that archer, as long as they don't cut me off.
I can take out the archer on the hill, I'll be in pretty decent shape. If I can take out the mentally agile on the hill, I'll be in even better shape. She just showed her back to me. As long as that ninja moves, and she will, I will have a free shot on mentally agile's back. Forget taking everyone out. We are changing plan. Going for the one shot kill. Uh, never mind. It's only six squares away, but I forgot that I <laughs> I don't have seven or eight jump ability. God damn. probably gonna die but I'm gonna just try my luck if I can take out the, at least one person limit the amount of damage they can do in one round uh, face the archers so maybe I'll dodge and depending on the order of attack I could potentially get my um, my HP restore critical but I would rather take a couple of hits from archers than a couple of summons. See, so that summoner is doing enough to kill me, which tells me they're not even going to bother attacking me. It's over. Ah, yeah, yeah. Hundred and eighty-one. Hundred and eighty-one. Ranged attack at a distance. Area of effect if I had a party of members and only costs her 24 MP. Summoners are so freaking overpowered. It's ridiculous. cheap I just don't want to I'm gonna give it one more legitimate try not that it's illegitimate to use yell but I'm gonna I'm gonna do it straight one more time and if it doesn't work out I'm, I'm just gonna yell because I mean two summoners and a ninja who throws a freaking mirror mass at and two summoners two two archers Breaking my armor. If I didn't have any armor, she couldn't use the attack. But... There is a thought. There's, there's a chance that she knows the one that breaks uh, um, accessory, but I don't think so. I've, I've, literally, I've never seen her use it. She always uses the shell bust stab. I'm going to try it with that armor. Hey, Rufio, watch your skin. You don't have armor on. Oh, bangarang, no, Rufio. Reunited escapes get that reference. Um, yeah, I'm gonna play it a little different. I'm gonna draw the ninja. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna draw the ninja by moving within her movement range. She'll double hit me, potentially kill me in one shot, but hopefully not. 
um, and then I'll be able to hit and run the ninja without being at the mercy of their long range attacks. Uh, one archer might get a hit in still. Hopefully I get lucky with uh, critical restores. And we will see how this goes. I did notice the ninja's weapons changed from the first try to the second try, so hopefully she doesn't have any weapons with adverse status effects. Um, the first time she had an assassin's blade, which can deal instant KO. This time I'm less familiar with the ninja blades. Don't axe would not be good. Uh, so just don't axe, not forced. Okay, so I want to move just to next to the house. Draw the ninja, let her attack me. If I'm right and Meleagel cannot actually use her sword skill on me, that's awesome because then she'll be drawn to a, a one to one attack, which means she will definitely open herself up to. God damn, if that hits. In conjunction with the ninja, I am dead. I have to dodge at least one hit from the ninja to survive. But as I'm saying, if she hits me... God damn. Right, I'm going to try it legit at least another time or two, because I think I got a good strategy now. Um, if, if she is forced to do... A frontal attack then all I gotta do is survive one round and then get a, a back attack on her and I should be strong enough to double double hit her um, and I'm pretty sure I only need to get her critical I don't have to actually kill her I think I think my next playthrough I'm going to do a level 99 absolute trouncing of everyone and just not even rams only. Like I'm going to have a battalion of dual wielding monks and maybe even a calculator just for the heck of it and just, <laughs> just pound these archers and summoners into the dirt. I forgot to take my armor off, but that's okay. I can still do the strategy with the ninja and actually I'll be a little bit safer with the extra 70 HP. If I had that 70 HP I would have survived actually so just as well that I forgot the armor because I can I can sacrifice the armor getting close to Maui Agile and then and then be just fine. Actually, when you factor in the 70 HP loss, she hits for, I think, 96. So then the net loss is only 26 on, on your total health the first time she hits you. So it's not the worst thing. Okay, moving by the houses. Uh, out of curiosity, I want to see what kind of blades she has. status, no status. Uh, the ninja edge is pretty powerful though. She is a Capricorn, which has a negative affinity with me. Cancer, negative affinity. Cancer, negative affinity. Aries, neutral. Aquarius, neutral. Ooh, she got a cripplet. Why can I not get my HP critical store to trigger? That would have been perfect. I could have got a shot on her. 
I don't care, I'm gonna get a shot on her anyway, because this run is probably... See that? I think either archer's gonna finish me. Unless I get lucky that they can't hit me from here. I don't think I am that lucky. Deal, but it's not bad. We're still okay. And I think I might be able to hit her back. If so, I'm gonna go for broke. It is all or nothing. Uh, it's negative affinity, which means I won't be able to kill her, but I might be able to get her to critical. Not even that, I don't think. 270. Damn. But it was a good hit, and she'll get me the critical. If there's any justice in this world. There we go. HP was stuck. So now all I need is an Earth Slash on her. Except that goddamn regen. So I'll probably need a side hit. Uh, and these summoners are going to take me out. Damn. She knows freaking Moogle. Oh, that's the game. Okay, I think the fact that she is a Capricorn makes it to where I just about have to use the yell strategy. I hate to do it. I really hate to do it. Instead of doing the like the full blown run for twenty turns, I'm I might just use accumulate three or four times to get it to where I can one shot her. Cause, cause I, don't, I really don't want to do the whole strategy. It, it seems. It's not cheap because you gotta do what you gotta do, but it is, it's not entertaining to watch. Scream would be nice, although I think doing that artificially raises the Brave, which adds a permanent buff to the Brave over time, and I don't really want to manipulate the Brave, um, or the Faith for that matter. If I wanted to, I could lower my Faith uh, to limit the magic damage that I receive, but... Speaking of limiting damage, 28% evasion, but my movement's lower, and I really need my movement to be up so that I can get a back hit. If I only had 5 movement, I don't think I would ever get a back hit. 
I'm gonna keep my my armor on because it helped me survive the ninja. I'm gonna do the same strategy, try to take out the ninja in one. I got really lucky to be honest. I don't think um, it's not a consistent thing that I'll be able to take her out because I gotta get a double shot with her front frontal evasion. Um, which, you know, just getting one of those to land is pretty lucky on a ninja. Uh, especially since I think she's got other accessories and things for dodging. Right. Gonna do the, try to take out the ninja and then do the accumulate thing. And then try to take out Melagel. Take out. I just need to take out everyone. Uh, that's a Sagittarius that's got a positive affinity for me. She's defending. For half a second, I thought maybe I should try a Wave Fist. Maybe I can Wave Fist her from there. I think that's what I'm going to try. I'm going to try Wave Fist. 56%. Lucky hit. Uh, of course it... Of course it does. I should have remembered that. Yeah, her, her attacks ignore height. So... They have no height limit. I'll be dead already. That was a bad. That was a bad thing to to just rush in. I'm getting I'm getting impatient. That's what's happening. They're not even bothering attacking. They know I'm dead. I should bother to attack me, but I'm not dead. I'm definitely dead with both of them though. Hit me in that sweet spot where it's not enough to kill me, but not enough to, or not enough to go to critical, but not enough, like, enough for two of them to kill me. That's what I'm trying to say. Don't be impatient. Don't be impatient. Man, I was really hoping to get all the way to Zeltenia, but the way this is going. I think we're gonna have to. Well, it's only just over an hour. We might still get to Zeltenia. Because Phoenix River is comparably not that hard. Just a bunch of Jokobos and uh, just some random. Not random, but wild animals. Not that hard compared to humans with job skills. Alright, we're gonna put guts on, gonna leave our shirt on, don't rush up to hit the ninja, stick to our plan. I'm gonna go ahead and save it with guts on because I think that's the strategy I've, I've got to do. In the off chance that I have to reload. I don't think I should have to because it's it's a pretty foolproof strategy. You can you can up your own stats as much as you need to the point that doesn't really doesn't really pose any threat. Um, if I wanted to I could accumulate enough to take her out in a single earth slash. Probably only take 20, 15, 20 accumulates. Um, and I could dance around <laughs> not quite long enough for that though, because these guys are they're good at cornering you. The, the summoners would eventually get their attack and I would be screwed. So I don't want to dance around too long. I want to start picking off their, their ladies. Starting with the ninja. She's a 
High seas, no affinity. And looking at that movement, I can get here on just five. Um, in the future, I might think about equipping a cape if I don't make it here. Actually, let's go ahead and yell. If I can get two to one turns. <laughs> I, said, I know I said I was going to just accumulate a few times, but realistically to take out, like, to, to take them out safely, I'm going to have to take out most, if not all, of her cronies. And to do that safely, I, I really need to have multiple turns, two turns to one. Even as it is, I might still die, depending on what the ninja hits me for. He hit me for a death sentence, and I don't even get the critical restore. That's flippin' hell. I mean, there's nothing I can do. I'm gonna die in two turns. I can... I gotta jump to five. If I go here and heal, my Jewel will come in and hit me. Maybe I'll get a critical restore. Maybe I'll survive long enough to get her an attack in the back. But no, nah, she's just gonna let everyone else finish me. Good grief. They're not even gonna have the decency to finish me. They're just gonna let me bleed out. This is, this is something else. I can't even get her. Well, I'm gonna kill you. Take you with me. And I'm dead. <sighs> Casting Golem just for good measure, give everyone a little bit of protection. Lovely. try equipping a cloak because I can still move five I can still take out the ninja like I wanted to uh, but then I have much higher evasion which is gonna be nice with these archers peppering me with shots all day um, But I don't have a feather mantle. They have a 40% attack evasion and 30% magic evasion. Alright, let's do this thing. Pretty, I'm pretty sure someone's hit 100% no matter your evasion. I think. I seem to remember that being the case, but I could be wrong. I don't remember anyone ever dodging that summon. But then again, that's not really my play style. I go for the kill in the normal run.
I think Ramza always starts where he is right now. I feel like. Could be wrong with that. Uh, Sagittarius has affinity with me. Oh, I don't have the jump of five anymore. So I can't actually go down here. Well, that's okay. We can change up the strategy a little bit. It's probably just as well that I don't lure the ninja over to me. And I just stick with the yell strategy. I used that specifically so that I could move, but it did not give me an opportunity to move. That's pretty shady. Seventy-two percent, even from the side. That's pretty nice. But I'm so dead. It's ridiculous. Mm. All right, we're keeping our boots on. We're doing the yell strategy. We are not engaging the ninja until we have a clear kill. I think I'd rather run them to the left side of the screen than the right, because I can run to the left, jog back to the right, take out the ninja. By then I will have, will have already done it. yell a couple of times. Uh, I can maybe hopefully get a double move past Meliagel Take out the archers, take out the summoners. It should be. And I'm gonna see, I feel like he naturally, like this right here, is where he is, and the rest of your team can go anywhere else. I think that's gonna be the case. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave him here because I want the strategy to be pull everyone to the left first. So I'm going to see if he is still by the house. I think he will be. I, I think it doesn't matter where I go. Could be wrong, but I, I don't think that I am. Yeah, he's still by the house. Does not matter where you put him. If 
I could get a hit on the summoners. Maybe they'd waste their MP healing each other. That's way too risky and I can't do it right away. Interesting that Meliagel went the other way. Potentially opens up an opportunity for me to take out this summoner. Uh, well, well, maybe still, maybe still. taking me for 96 that's awesome I'm still gonna survive more than that I'm gonna thrive this is awesome I'm gonna take out a summoner she's gonna try to heal it but hopefully I can get my turn first I've expended some MP and I'm not dead, so <laughs> they've got enough for five or six more hits though, so Should have just stuck to my strategy, stuck to my strategy. Use the houses for cover, yell, and accumulate. I thought she was going to go to the house and throw something at me, but she did not. Molly Angel's going to corner me, though. I think I'm going to just go for broke. Uh, Molly Angel's going to corner me, and I would die if this guy, if this lady's still alive. So, I'm going to see 196. I wish you could check the damage output. I mean, it says 114, but that's just generally. Should have just went in front of her and used stair or slash instead. No, oh, but that wouldn't have killed her, so I don't feel that bad that it didn't. Okay, well, if, if Earth Slash isn't going to kill her, I don't think Spin Fist is going to kill her. So I'm just going to take out 
take what I can get and just hope that the HP critical comes at the right time. A little bit frustrating that so far this is maybe my best run and it's not because I'm particularly a good strategy in it it's just kind of the dumb luck of how the HP criticals have, have gone and the dumb luck of how I've dodged ridiculous but I cannot believe that it did. Okay, well, I've managed to only yell once, and I don't think I'm going to do it again. I think I can win this legit. last words, right? Uh, well, Melia Jewel is definitely going to get in range. If she has the accessory attack, then I'm screwed because she'll get another hit. Uh, in which case, I should probably top up my health. Just to be safe. Face this way because I think the archer's going to start hitting me now. But even if I get hit by Meliage, I'll still barely be alive. Not the case with the summer, damn it. Hopefully this doesn't have enough to finish me, and then I'll get the critical. Then I'll still be alive. I can take out the summoner. Yay, yay, yay. No, of course not. 185. <sighs> this is brutal. This is easily worse, easily worse than the execution ground, easily worse than the Y-Graph. I mean, Y-Graph was a piece of cake, just going back and forth, yelling. I think that's what I'm going to have to do this one. Uh, I, I kind of, I, the last several times I've been half, half committed to that strategy and like I start it and then, no, nope, another opportunity appears. I just need to commit. Commit to yelling, uh, yell until I've got speed of about 16, 18, get my two to one turns, accumulate until I can power, uh, not power break, uh, earth slash them to death. Might still need to get lucky with one or two HP criticals, but for the most part, just gotta commit. Um, if the ninja does not have a bad status effect on her blade, I might try to draw the ninja. No, I won't. No, I won't. I just, I, I, if I did that, I would be in danger constantly having to heal. 
unless I got really lucky. Uh, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to, I got to commit to the strategy. Got to run and yell, run and yell. That's what happened the last time was the opportunity presented itself and I thought, ah, let me take out that summoner. Uh, but I just gotta stick to the strategy. It's gonna get a little hairy because they're gonna pincer me. Uh, I'm gonna have a summoner on one side, summoner on the other side. Eventually I am gonna have to break through and take out one of the summoners, but... What I'll do is wait for this summoner to get one hit on me. She'll have to move close enough um, to where I can hit her back. And hopefully by then my speed will be high enough that I can hit and run. But it's be tricky. And they are good at pincering me. It's on a shuriken, that's nice of that. take out this one than this one. Uh, the issue I'm debating in my head is one summoner or the other is going to get a hit on me next turn. If I move this way, this one's definitely going to get a hit on me soon because her turn's coming up next. If I move closer to this one, I don't want to move too close because what I want to do is get her to move one or two squares up. If I get her to move two up, then I can move here. And that would be pretty, pretty good tactical spot for me to be, so that the ninja couldn't get a double hit on me. Uh, as it is, I 
we're just gonna move the corner and see what's gonna happen. Because it still comes down to the HP and whether I get uh, a soft bounce on my HP criticals. I really don't think I will. Good dodge. Okay, I might, I might actually be able to escape the trap because I can move. Good grief. I am not even any love on the HP criticals. Would have been nice if I had full health. I could yell again and run. It is, I'm going to die. I'm actually not going to die. I could I got another shot at the HP critical stuff. So hopefully, two in a row, two in a row not even happening for me. What luck is this? contemplating moving closer and closer to the right or closer up um, but I don't want to be within range of the archers so I decided against that and the archers are still in range I'm dead twice in a row no luck by waiting. I would get my turn sooner so that I can heal before the Shiva hit. But I could not. And it doesn't matter because I couldn't have outrun either her or my lad so. This is a tricky one. We're definitely not making it to Zeltenia. But I'm definitely not giving up either. Um, shouldn't be that hard. Auto potions with high potions would make it a little easier. But the way my reaction abilities trigger less than half of the time, uh, that's not always the case. Because it only takes one of them to miss for you to be screwed. With the auto potions, that is. Because by the time you get down to HP critical, if all you've got is an auto potion, it's not enough. They can overwhelm you. Offensive distance abilities, I know. Uh, let's 
just keep at it. to just take out the ninja and see what happens. You know, what's the worst that could happen? I lose seven times in a row. <laughs> eh, let's do it. I'm definitely going to get hit by... Meliadule. I'm definitely going to get hit by at least one summoner. That's enough to finish me right there. I gotta dodge one or the, the other. Please dodge. 120. Are you kidding me? And a critical for 144. Mm. try that again I think I got unlucky with the damage amount because they don't usually hit me for that much even with a charge three they don't usually hit me that hard uh, and if the numbers line up to where I can land in the critical I'll be fine and if I'm fine with one enemy down that's gonna be amazing especially that ninja with the range, double hit, it's not my friend, let me see, Let's see if I can do that again, Come to think of it, I think my affinity for the HP Critical Restore is down to the fact that I usually over level and power level to the point where I have 999 HP, and so the critical range is 249. So anytime my character falls at or below 249, they restore 750 HP, which is a lot more powerful than a high, po a high potion or X potion at 150. Huh, so that time she didn't move that far. I think last time she must have just randomly had battle boots or something equipped that allowed her to move. Uh, her weapons aren't that great though. Flame Whip is a little dangerous because it can hit you with fire. 
but it also has a random RNG damage calculator and only 10 power for that one. I think I'm gonna Draw her attack. I, I'd, I'd love to finish this ninja off. And last time when I did the, the purely running and yelling strategy, it very quickly devolved into just trying to survive because they are very good at, at doing the pincer attacks and just cornering you to where one or the other or both of the summoners are going to get a hit and you are going to die. So. I think I need to just draw them to one side if I can. Did not realize that summoner was going to get a hit from there though. That kind of changes things. Uh, depending on how powerful this is, that ninja could very well finish me in one. Not that powerful. Depending on this, if the fire two from the flame whip hits. Only 11, but then the fire two hits. Only 30, okay, that's. That is okay. okay let's do it. Yes! Critical for 324. We're not even have a good affinity. That was awesome, though. of the summoner was to hit it here and then it has a radius of two so if she moved here she could hit it here it would have a radius of two but it is limited by height so I think my best safest position is right there doing okay. I feel like they could probably hit me from there, but maybe not from there. I'd love to use my guts, but I feel like I need to heal. She's going to get a hit no matter where I go, so I may as well stay and charge my CT more. She's going to hit me for 96, which is not going to drop me down to critical, so I need to heal. Or I need to yell. I'm going to heal. should have accumulated because then I could be a little bit more powerful. I wonder. Okay, that girl is going to be close enough to hit me. I gotta go for broke. Damn. I was going to try to do a wave fist wait, get my turn again, and then here in the back and finish her. But obviously that didn't work. And 
she does not know how to break accessories. And this summon is gonna finish me. No, it's not! Hang on, hang on, hang on. If that summoner can only hit me for... I'm gonna get a double turn. This summoner can't kill me. This summoner's too far away. I think I've won. So I'm gonna do a 60. And then, good God, only 84. Well, never mind, I'm not. Bad affinity, that's why. And that one's got a bad affinity. Uh, she's got a magic 11 power and 10. So this one will hit me for a little bit more, but not a lot. Okay, new plan. Uh, yeah, bad affinity. We gotta take them out. Maybe they'll waste their turn healing. Four. Not enough. I'm dead. For a half second, it was looking like that was going to be the one. I need to, I think, not bother yelling because I'm not going to be able to run and escape long enough for it to actually matter. What I need to do instead is accumulate a couple of times because that's going to actually have an immediate impact on how much I can heal and more importantly how much I can hit on Meliagel because I need to get to where I can one-shot her or at least Earth Slash and wait and get the get the CT bonus to double double turn her. I thought for a half a second I was going to be able to do that, but my affinity was so bad that my attack was so bad. And well, and also I wasn't, I wasn't factoring through the fact that I lost two attack power when she broke my clothing. Um, so really I need to get about four or five accumulates if I'm going to be able to one-shot her and have my shirt broken. Which may not be the most feasible. Definitely going to have to get lucky with some HP criticals. Uh, Maybe I can get strong enough that I can one shot some people with her slash. That would be nice. I uh, won't be able to do it to the ninja because not only do we have bad affinity, she is wearing earth clothes, but maybe I could do, do, do it. 
to a summoner, especially if the summoner's charging, but they're not that careless. For that summoner's got good affinity, I could potentially one shot her with an earth slash if I was a little stronger. Two accumulates. I think one or two more, and I would be happy risking a back attack if I get the opportunity. Uh, but not if I lose my shirt. I would need three or four before I'd feel happy with a broken shirt. Double move turn. Damn, damn, damn. And because my shirt's broken, my damage threshold is lower, and I don't get the critical restore. I'm back to normal on my attack power. 95 is what I heal for. And because I'm back to normal, I know that I want finisher. I did a 90, and then I got another turn, but I'm going to die before then. Two hours already, and I am not through this city. It's been a long time since I've ended an episode on a game over screen. I don't want to this time. I don't think I'll need to this time, but I do not have all night to work on this. I need to have a breakthrough.
I think of all the runs I've done, the ones where I, I managed to take out the ninja and move most everyone to one side, to the right side, it, those are the ones that I have the most hope. So when that ninja comes barreling down on me and the two summoners pincer attack me, I got nowhere to go. They're gonna get me. As long as her weapons are not foul, and the flail is awesome for me, it's terrible for her. Okay, her weapons are really doable. I'm going to go, and I'm going to bait her to attack me. And I'm going to accumulate the attack power. Draw everyone to this side. Lucky, gonna get some HP, restore criticals, gonna dodge some archers. Maybe not dodge the archer. And wonderful, she's a freaking Leo. Oh, but she didn't attack me, so that's okay. Nice. Rather, she hit me, so I get the critical restore. Okay, now we can go this way. We can still survive the archers. as hell because that summoner has an affinity with me and a single hit could take off 190, 186. strength up if I'm going to take out Millie Agile. Um, and I'm going to... I just have to rely on... I don't know what. I double shot her she would die honestly I think that might be my only hope right now I could get to 200 but anywhere I go she would be able to follow and then the summoner would be able to both summoners would... yeah my only shot is to double shot her right now it's a long shot But it's, it would do it. 63% double. There goes nothing. Oh my god, it's over. Oh my god. Let's just bask for a moment in the absurdity that this battle presented to me. Oh my god. Ah, uh, you're strong. No wonder why Graf lost. Listen, the next time we meet is the day you die. Remember that. Oh my god. I don't think I've ever felt that much relief. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. The odds.
methods of doing that. 0 0.63 times 0 0.63. 39.69%. Chance. That was a lucky go. That was a lucky, lucky chance. And you had better believe we are saving this game. And we're over two hours. I like to keep my episodes between 90 minutes and two hours at the most. So that is all we have time for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for sticking it out with me. Um, we are still rolling on our way to Zeltinia Castle in the next episode. I hope to see you then. Until then, have a good one. Later.